Hello everyone. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the other light filters that are available in Material X. Okay, but the only thing is that these light filters only work at CPU level. They don't work with XPU. So for now, just think of it as, you know, information that you can keep. And then once it gets supported by XPU, which I'm guessing would be like Houdini 20, uh, then the knowledge should be more more usable because you know the CPU version is slower. So anyways, just to get started. So the first thing is, uh, I learned something new, which is uh, you have three types of light filters. And if you want to apply all of them, then you have to do something slightly different. Okay, so I'm just going to, like I have this basic light, I'm going to disconnect this, you know, and keep this separate. Okay, and then we'll just take another light and yeah i'll set this to rectangle okay i think this is good yeah this is fine okay so the way it works is that the first thing is put the light filter library after the light okay so just type in light filter and you'll get a light filter library and then what you can do is come into uh, like open up a new floating panel, come to the Solaris scene graph tree. And in the light filter, there is an option which says assign to light. So you turn that on and you drop your light into this. Okay, now whatever you create inside the light filter library, all of it will get applied to light four. So the idea is you can take multiple light filter libraries and assign them to each particular light. So let's close this. And now just to show you what, what you can do is I'll come in here and you get three different types. So you get the gel and you get the gobo, which we saw in the last class. And then you get the barn door. As long as this brown button is on, all three of them are getting applied. Okay, so if I just come into the gobo and I'll pick up like that typeface that I had, I'll turn these off temporarily. And if I turn on the render, then I should be able to see it. Like if I just increase the intensity, see, there you go. Okay, we have our light and I can take this light and I'll just make it small. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, now what you can do is you can come in here into the light filter library and I can turn on the gel. And then let's say if I make the gel color to, I don't know, like, see, so now you're applying the gel and this. And then if I also turn on the barn door, then I can also control it with the barn door. Okay, see, so I can actually like, you know, control the area of it. So the point is like, you can sort of apply all three in this manner. Now, this is not the reason why I'm making this lesson. Okay, like this is really simple. Uh, the reason I'm making this lesson is that you can now do more, if you are at CPU level, you can do far more complex things with, with the light filters because you get access to all the Material X math nodes and everything, which are currently not supported at XPU level. Okay, so I'm gonna take, get rid of these two and I'll just keep the, the gel and I'll just bump up the light intensity a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll do a, we'll do like three types. Okay, so I'll do like a, a straight line, like light coming in through uh, like a doorway, and then we'll do a circle. And then I'll do, uh, we could probably try like a noise projection. So let's jump in here. And just to show you, like, here's the thing, right? Like, first of all, like, if I just change this over to XPU, this is not going to work. Okay, like if I just switched it to XPU and do Karma and like the basic gel works, but uh, nothing else inside that works. Like if I start to apply like the math nodes to this, like let's say if I come in here and I pick up this filter projection and I plug that into tint and nothing happens. Okay, but if I switch this over to CPU and now if I hit render, this happens. Okay, so those math nodes work, but they only work at CPU level. Okay, so let's just jump in here and 
the reason you can do the advantage of doing it with math notes is that you get control like it becomes it becomes like a procedural texture so you can control it here rather than going to photoshop and make something okay so just take a we can take a separate two because this is a uv so it's only two vectors you know so we can take a separate and then i can just plug this in here and if i take this you'll get like you know vertical and if i take that you'll get you know horizontal and then if I just take this and plug this into, uh, let's say I can take like a float. So we can take a float cubic ramp. Okay. And I can drop that in here. And then I can just take maybe, uh, you know, like this and that, something like this. Or we can, you know, bring this down here and, you know, do this. See, so you can do, you know, stuff like this. And if we come into the Karma light projection and I start to adjust this, so I can make it thinner or I can make it bigger. So you can do things like these. You can also do like an orthographic projection, which gives you like a doorway, you know, like it makes it a parallel projection. So it makes it, you know, much more sort of better. So we can do stuff like this. If I switch this over to the horizontal, I can get this, you know, so I can kind of move it up and down. You can also like offset it. So see, so this is pretty, you know, this is pretty useful overall. Now, what you can also do is we can put some color to this. So I can take a color ramp here and I can just drop that in there. And then if I just, uh, let's say if I pick up, uh, I don't know, like plasma, see, so you can do this. Okay. Or let's try, uh, let's try two tone. Okay, you know, so you can do like fancy things with this. I don't need that. Yeah, okay, so this is fine. Not the most useful thing, but okay. Now what we can also do is let's say we want this, like this is fine, but I want the color to be like, you know, horizontal. So instead of plugging it in here, I can take a color ramp for the the V, okay, and then I can do a multiply with this. Hold on, uh, let's take that first and this second, yeah. And then if I switch this over to like magma, see, so the color is now horizontal. So, and then you can do something a little more interesting, like, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's say if I just take this to, let's say this is blue. Yeah, blue and whatever. And then I can do something a little bit weird with this, which is, uh, let's say if I take a color correct, I'll drop that in here. And the same V node, I can take a remap plug that into the hue shift and you'll end up getting this. Okay, so you can actually like control. See, so you can do like, you know, something a little more fancy. And then if you come in here and if I do an offset, see, you can actually like move the color around and you can also like squeeze it or, you know, see, so you can get like more repeats and less repeats and we can open this up. So you can do like, you know, fancy things with this. All right, so this is uh, how to make like a really simple doorway. So I'm gonna break this up into three separate videos. So it'll just be like, you know, short lessons. So the next example we'll take a look at is uh, how to create like a spotlight.